Hi everybody, I'm Melissa from cloudmom.com. Welcome back to my pregnancy week to week series. Let's dive into week 34. By week 34, your baby weighs about five pounds. They are about 17.5 inches and they measure about the size of a butternut squash. During this week, the protective gooey coating that has been surrounding your baby starts to thicken even more. If you have a boy, his testicles will start to descend at this point. Some baby boys' testicles will not have even descended fully by the time birth comes around, but this is usually considered totally normal. Whether you have a boy or a girl, the sex hormones they are receiving might cause their genital area to be a little swollen, and this can continue after birth but in most cases, again, this is totally normal and goes down quickly over time. During week 34, you might be experiencing something which is called dropping. Dropping occurs when the baby literally drops from the upper abdomen into the lower pelvis. Dropping means that your baby has started to get into the proper position for birth. For some women, this won't happen though until they actually go into labor. One of the benefits of dropping is that your baby might now be causing you to have less heartburn and shortness of breath. As a result of dropping, another symptom you might have at this stage is increased pelvic pressure. And this might cause you to wanna to go to the bathroom even more frequently, which I know was like a big issue of mine. At 34 weeks, you likely will have a routine pregnancy checkup with your doctor. At this appointment, your doctor is going to first take your weight they're gonna check your blood sugar. They're gonna ask for a urine sample to check for protein and to check for sugar. Blood sugar that is too high can indicate gestational diabetes, which you wanna be really careful about, and protein can indicate preeclampsia, which your doctor will be paying very close attention to starting at around this stage. Your doctor very likely will measure your belly to see how big your baby is measuring, and they will touch your wrists and your ankles to check for swelling, which also could be a sign of preeclampsia. You might also have a biophysical profile, which I explained in week 26, a contraction stress test, which I explained in week 28, fetal acoustic stimulation, which I explained in week 28, and a non-stress test, which I also explained in week 28. You might be offered an ultrasound at this point. This depends on whether or not you have a history of preterm labor, if you're having multiples, your doctor might want to take a look at them. There could be a concern about your baby's growth, or it might just be a routine ultrasound to take a look at your baby. Another thing that your doctor might want to look at through a sonogram is the length of your cervix. A shortening cervix, of course, is an indication that your baby could be on his or her way. I had this, you know, during my 28 week ultrasound with Bracey, also the 26 week ultrasound because of my history of preterm labor. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Diet, you wanna to try to stick to the same rules. You're gonna avoid alcohol. You're gonna avoid raw fish. You're gonna avoid fishes that are high in mercury. You're going to avoid pasteurized cheeses and you're gonna avoid cold cuts. When it comes to food, stick to healthy, natural food. Try to avoid processed food. Try to avoid foods that are very high in sugar and in fat, which you really don't need. Stick to healthy, healthy foods. I've put up a weekly recipe on my site Please check that out. In terms of a checklist, you wanna schedule your week 36 prenatal appointment. You wanna check with your healthcare provider and make sure you can add your baby to your health insurance plan. You wanna hydrate, hydrate, hydrate with water, herbal tea, and other healthy drinks. Exercise and do your pelvic floor tilts. Check on your partner's well-being and try to think about going to a prenatal yoga class. Thank you so much for joining and see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.